And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to make some pole dancing bikini shorts. However, you can definitely still wear them for swimwear as well. So, you know, fashion is your thing. I'm just here to guide you on the process. So I've cut out my patterns, um, the fabric. I've got a mane and I've got lining. The main fabric is a black shiny fabric and the lining is just a black matte fabric. So first of all, I'm going to put in some elastic or make a line to create some ruching. So I'm using this beautiful like woven elastic. You can use an elastic that's either six millimeters or eight millimeters thickness. I'm just sliding that in through the back. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. This is the second way. In most of my other videos, I show the first way. This way I really like as well, especially if you kind of don't have pins. I know that sounds funny, but some people don't have pins. So this is another way of doing it. Um, so this is where I would just line up the elastic or, you know, the start of the elastic and pin that through. And this is really important to actually have the elastic already pinned in. Sometimes once I've pinned it in, I might go in and do like a quick little zigzag stitch over the top, just at the very edge, just to secure that in and I don't have to worry about it. And there's no pins involved at the start. However, the next part of the process, you'll need some tailor's chalk and a ruler and maybe even a cutting board that has some lines on it so that you can see where the lines are. I just measure out the bottom and just literally cut it in half, but you can already see the fold line in these bottoms from when I cut it on the fold. So essentially I'm just going to follow the fold that I have cut it on. I've got my ruler and I have got some tailor chalk. I love the tailor chalk because it comes off simply by just rubbing it with your hands or you can put it in the wash and job done. So I'm just making out the line here um, going down the center where my elastic will be for the ruching or scrunch bum. I don't know what to actually call it. Ruching or scrunch bum? You can correct me in the comments below if you like. Go for it. I'm always up for a chat. Oh no, here comes my cat. He's at the door and he's. I've closed the door so that we don't hear any noise and now my cat's come along and yeah, anyway. All right, so you've got the elastic and you can repin it if you like. Here he comes. I'm gonna have to open up the door and let him in. Come on, Alright, so you've got that in and you can pin away. If you hear strange breathing, it's not me, it's my cat. <laughs> he does like to be involved in every single project I do. Alright, so that's all pinned. There you are. And you don't need any other pins now for the elastic. You can just do as you please. I'm just going to pop the lining together now, the right sides of the lining together. I've kept the elastic there so it, it shows me where it is on the garment. And I'm just pinning probably about half an inch uh, or to an inch on either side of the elastic. This is actually the very first way that I learned how to do a scrunch bomb with the tailor chalk. Pop a few more pins on the side. Once you've got them in, you will need to sew a quarter inch seam allowance. However, it's just on the edges here. You don't want to sew in the middle because that's where we'll be pulling the elastic through later on. So sew on the edges here but don't sew here, all right? So that's all we need to do. And then grabbing your main fabrics and the 
for me it's the two shiny bits of the fabric together otherwise just the right sides of the fabric for you and pin the crotch so I'm going to sew all the way along the bottom of the crotch here along the crotch seam and I'm just using like a quarter inch seam allowance or six millimeters um, I'll be using also a serger or an overlocker However, if you don't have one of those, please feel free to use a zigzag stitch and a straight stitch. And then sew across there. There we go. All done. So then I'm grabbing there that there's a crutch hole and that's on the lining. And then what we're going to do now is simply lay the right side of the fabric on top of the right side of the lining. Okay, so just placing that on top and get ready to pin. This is where you'll need some pins or some little bulldog clips and just pinning in the, the crutch seam in first. It's really important that I always say that with every video because it is so true that once you get the crutch seams in place, everything else is perfect. So don't start at the top or the bottom or the side. Start right here and then just work your way around. So essentially you're just going to be pinning all the way around through the leg holes, through inside the curve of the straps and the top of the waist and the top of the back. The ends of the straps, you do not sew and block. You just leave them open. And I will show you the reason why a little bit later. But just getting all those pins in is probably the most time consuming part of this project. So I will speed this process up for you. However, once you've got the pins in, it's literally nearly finished. It's so easy. I know it looks quite complex in, with all the strap detail going on. However, it's very, very easy. And once you've made one, you'll make a whole bunch in different colors. Um, the crutch coverage is great. It's like four finger width coverage and super, super comfortable. Okay, there we are. I've got all my pins in. And all we need to do is just sew like all the way around. I'm going to use my serger for this one. You can use a zigzag stitch and a straight stitch. And I'm sewing in around those corners and along through the top here. And again through here and on the other side and through the back. There we are. All done. Ah! Oh. Wouldn't that be great if it was just that easy? I did reinforce the, the corners because that's like a main stretchy part of the area. So if I feel like there's going to be a lot of wear and tear in some areas, I'll go over it a few more times with a different stitch. And that usually keeps it really secure. Yeah. So we're going to put our elastic on. I'm going to use a beautiful 8 millimeter elastic it's a swimwear elastic so go in I have just done this so I've walked ahead it's just going to do it through the leg holes the top of the waist and the back of the waist and you want to do it essentially well when it's the same color like this it doesn't matter what side but you really want to do it on the back of the right side and now we just open up through the little crutch hole and we're going to turn it the right side. So I usually start with one side. This is quite fiddly as you're pulling everything through because it's like pulling an octopus through because it's got like all these like little straps that are like tentacles. So take your time here and just be really gentle with the fabric um, and just gently pull everything through. When I first bought these shorts out, they were so popular. They still are. And like they're so easy to make. And they were like one of the biggest sellers. So you can download this pattern at indiajean.com and it's available there for you. 
and it's got like in once you've downloaded the pattern it's got all the supplies that you will need it's got all the sizing instructions and there might even be like a little gift in there for you as well highly recommending purchasing the pattern so that you get all the dimensions of this pattern right for your body I told you it's a little bit tricky pulling all these little tentacles out but you know just bear with like put a podcast on or you know watch this tutorial in the background and you'll be able to like sail through this effortlessly and once all the tentacles come through you'll be able to see what it looks like so I've just essentially pulled through one side getting the last tentacle and then I will go through the whole of the crutch and pull the other side through. So going up through the hole and pulling each little tentacle out. You might have your own method for this. Um, yeah, just go for gold. You might prefer to pull it all through and then then do the tentacles later. this is such a beautiful beautiful outfit once it's made and very comfortable as well like whenever I've been dancing wearing these shorts everything is completely safe and secure I think also because like the bottom hip straps are so supportive as well like they are like a low hip but then the top strap can either like it can sit in the shelf of your waist or it can just sit at the top of your hip bone so you've still got that grip coverage when you're on the pole however if you're going to go for a swim it doesn't really matter you're just going to get some mad tan lines which is going to be a great story to tell and um, I'm sure that no matter what you do and where you wear these shorts you will have the best time because that's really essentially what it is I think that garments really do emphasize our moments in time when it comes to you know experiences and it's really important to have beautiful things that make you feel gorgeous so that you've got some nice memories to tap into there we are oh my god it's almost finished oh my god it's so gorgeous once this is on it's so so beautiful and here we're just going to close up the tentacles or the straps. I'm just evening out the elastic here. And so just getting ready, we're just going to fold the top strap over. I'm going to pin it so the strap is over the other strap, strap, whoop, strap, and then coming in through the crutch hole, you'll do this for every single one, up through, up through the tentacle, and then holding onto that with your thumb and your finger, so you've got them two together, you will then turn it inside out on itself, so coming up and over, there we go. And then opening that up and then perfect oh it is perfect we've got the shiny side facing the shiny side and the matte side facing the matte side yay and then just pinning that and sewing a quarter inch seam allowance across here and done this is my favorite part unraveling it so just going in through the crutch hole pulling and there it is oh my goodness it's so pretty it's so pretty okay now we're getting ready to do the other side i always like to lay things out nice and neat and have them all flat it just makes for a nice seamless experience and again we're going to cross that strap over the other strap pin it come up through the crutch
up through the strap, up through the middle, and then we'll pull it through. And this is the reason why we don't actually sew these holes up. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to pull them through and make beautiful straps. There we are. And then all you need to do is line that up and pop a pin in and so there you are all done so pull that through and we've got two more to do however I am going to speed up that process so that you don't need to watch that again you can replay the others if you need to and then just go for gold okay here we go speed strapping away oh, one day maybe but it looks so cool and there we go that's the final strap done and pulling that through and all done yay they're so pretty oh my goodness love 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 these so much so now all we need to do is put in our ruching and you'll probably remember at the start of this video we made some little marks on the lining fabric with the tailor chalk so you can use that as a guide when you're sewing however I do prefer pins I am going to pin away but the, the great thing is that I have already made the tailor chalk marks which will be a perfect indication of where to put my pins however if you are a, you know a seriously awesome individual and you don't need pins then go for gold and do your ruching without the pins I'm sure you would do fabulous and please if you do that let me know that you've done that you can tag me on Instagram at India Jean Designs and that's where everyone tags me if they're making stuff or they're purchasing from my uh, my online store which is where all these garments you can purchase I hand make them myself it's my little business that I started three years ago and I will do a story on that later um, but yeah so once you've got the pins in you're pinning through the fabric and the lining and behind it so you don't essentially don't you don't want to pin the actual elastic so the pin doesn't go through the elastic it goes around the elastic and the pins are just there to help you guide through the elastic so it doesn't go all over the place which it can do especially with this like lycra material that I'm using it can be a bit slippery which is why I put the pins in so yeah all right so once you're pinning you want to like get a zigzag stitch going and whilst you're stitching you're going to be pulling the elastic and there we go there it is there's the ruching on the inside and that's it on the back so there you go thank you so much i really enjoyed teaching you how to do this please feel free to visit the website indiagene.com to purchase your patterns or any ready to make show wear, swim wear, pole wear. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to serving you again soon.